Hey, 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 hey. What up, 360 Booth family? So I've had the pleasure to really hang out and have a one-on-one -on -one with a lot of new 360 Booth operators. And some of these questions continue to come up. And so what I started doing is I started asking for their permission to share some of these questions that they have with the community. And most of the individuals here, the 360 Booth operators, have said, yeah, no, that's totally fine. You know, anything that helps out the community. So this video is dedicated to Ellie. Uh, she is a 360 booth owner. She has a 360 photo booth business out in Miami, Florida. She's a mom of two. She is a go-getter. I love her spirit. And I just want to thank you, Ellie, for providing uh, these great questions for us. So here's the video that's going to show you how to make an outro for your 360 booth event. So with an outro, what is exactly, what exactly is an outro? An outro is when the video finishes playing, after the video, you can put your information so whoever's seen that video can then see your information like uh, your logo, your business logo, your QR code, your website, your phone number, your social media. So let's go ahead and do that together. I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible. So let me go ahead and shrink this uh, big icon here and make my head a little bit smaller. My, my head's already a plus size head. And that's why, that's why I have big dreams, you know, because I have a big head. So let's go over to Canva. And you guys want to make sure that when you are on touch picks, let's go to uh, manage. Okay, let's go to manage. And let's see, this is, I, I'm just going to run through this as fast as possible. I already added the song during uh, Ellie's one-on-one. -on -one, I showed her how to add the song using her iPhone, just screen recording the song off her Spotify and then putting it in an iMovie, trimming it, converting it, and she's good to go. Go ahead and watch that part of the video. It's really helpful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a template. That way we know exactly what template size we're going for for this event. Because you want to get the same template size for your Canva outro video. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to give you that visual right now. Let me make sure I'm recording correctly here. Am I, am I recording? Um, where is my recording software? Am I too? Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't blocking out any of the details. I shot a video. It took me forever. And then when I was done with the video, I realized I was blocking everything. That was, that was sad. It happens. Um, okay, going back to uh, touch picks here. I'm going to go to template number five. And then I'm going to go to add template like that. And then it's going to add the template. Okay, it's adding the template. It already added the template. And just to kind of give you guys a visual, if you guys are brand new to this, I have about 360, uh, <laughs> I have about three videos that go over touch picks on my YouTube channel. Really helpful videos. Those are probably the most popular videos that people watch on my channel. So as uh, you can see in the overlay, template number five, 1072 by 1920 are the actual the, the dimensions. Okay, so let's keep that number in mind because when we hop over to Canva, right over here, we want to make sure that this right here is the same exact size. So there it is, 1072 by 1920. So let's go ahead and uh, let's add let's add our uh, our logo. So we're gonna add our company logo right here. And guys, you can hire a Fiverr freelancer to do an outro video for you, and they get down. Like they do a much better job than I do. I'm just doing this to kind of show you guys the very very basics. So I'll put that right there for now. And then I'm gonna go to text, and maybe you want to add your phone number. So let's go ahead and add our phone number. And let me see. Phone number is 909-504-3999, never mind. So let's go ahead and shrink this and then extend this. Did I get enough numbers in there? 909-504. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter because I'm only showing the, uh, an example. So I'm going to put that probably right there. And then we can add a little, a little uh, let's go to elements and add some shine to that. So I'll put some shine right here put some shine over here because this is like an anime right so put some shine right there and okay and then for the numbers I'm gonna click on the numbers and go to animate to the for the numbers and I'm gonna go to I like the typewriter effect that looks dope so I'll get the typewriter and then for my circle mm, what can I do with the circle let's see side in photo movement uh, scale basic let's see basic What's this? It'd be cool if I had like a spin. Like, do they offer a spin? One that spins. Let's see. Stomp. Oh, that was pretty cool. I use a stomp right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, sweet. So that's done. 
Okay, so that's this is like I said, just to kind of show you an example. The next thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and download this right here. Let's go. Let's put a outro. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and download it now. It's downloading. It's called the outro. When it finishes, uh, when the download process is complete, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and airdrop it to your phone because you're going to be using your phone to add that video onto your outro on your TouchPix app. So let me make sure it downloaded successfully here. It's still downloading. Did I did I download it <clears throat> successfully? Oh, here it is. Okay, just let me go ahead and put play. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, cool. And now I'm going to airdrop it onto my iPhone. Go ahead and air, airdrop. I'm going to do a screen recording on my iPhone real quick so you guys can see what's going down on the iPhone 13, standard iPhone 13. Go ahead and hit that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and accept it on my iPhone. Now it's popping up. And now on my iPhone, what I'm going to do then next is I'm going to open up the TouchPix app on my iPhone and I have an existing uh, event. So I'm going to go into settings on my event. And then I'm going to go to delete post roll on the right side because I already have one. So on the, on the right, under video effects, I'm going to go to post roll on the right side and click on that. And then I'm going to go to gallery and grab that video I just made. So let me go ahead and grab that video. I'm going to choose this video. And then I'm going to go to go back. And let me record a quick video myself. Let me see. Let's get the motion trigger activated. All right. Nostalgic. Oh, boom, boom. All right, here we go, yo. Uh, here we go, yo. So what's those? So what's those? And there we go. All right, so there. And now it's cropping and it's resizing. This part always gets me nervous, I guess, because I've had a couple of experiences with touch picks where when it's going through this process, it crashes and then all of a sudden the video is gone and you have to be the bearer of bad news and they have to get on that 360 booth and do the thing once again. And because of that, what I'm doing now, guys, is I'm looking for alternatives so for other uh application so i'm looking into one called boomerang right now and i'm also looking into one called luma booth so that's me right there i'm rocking it out as you guys can see in fact what i'm going to do is let me move this video over to my laptop and then show you guys the video on my laptop so that's me the video is about 17 seconds long i can make it longer than this but i want to keep this a uh, video short and sweet like me so there it is 909 and that's what's going to show after the video so i hope this helps guys remember all you have to do is make sure you come in here and that you use this to your advantage remember canva if you guys are already using canva just go ahead and animate your stuff and then you go ahead and add it using your iphone uh, so that you can have an outro video i hope this helps and i'll see you guys on the next one